Hello everyone, my name is Kvam and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be discussing IDubs' response to the simp allegations. I don't know if you can call them simp allegations, I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but you get the point. Uh, but if you don't get the point and you don't even know what I'm talking about, uh, let me bring you up to date. Very popular YouTuber IDubs, very famous for his content cop series, very glorified for being impossible impossible to defend yourself against, being just, you know, the, the one who has the most power in the YouTube community over everything. And the, his entire world essentially just came crashing down because his girlfriend uh, decided to launch an OnlyFans account. And if you don't know what OnlyFans is, it's essentially like a website where you can post pictures or videos of yourself, essentially just porn, essentially, or it can be like cosplay stuff or just rough porn. So Idubs' girlfriend decided to create a page on uh, OnlyFans and, you know, a lot of people were kind of confused, very shocked, uh, surprised by this, and uh, one guy asked like, how is Idubs feeling about this, and his girlfriend responded that uh, he was very supportive. It was a very bad timing for IDubs for this entire thing to happen because it essentially happened at the peak of when the word simp was being used more like mainstream. Uh, so now everyone is essentially just calling him a simp. They're calling him a cuck because he essentially allows his girlfriend to sell her nudes. And personally, I think it's kind of a weird situation. Uh, but I'm going to get into more my opinion later. First, I'm going to talk about his first response, which wasn't an actual response. It was more just like a Twitter post, just making a joke out of it. Uh, and it didn't really satisfy people as he didn't really say anything. It was just making a joke. Uh, but today, as of um, when I'm recording this, I might upload this tomorrow or something. Well, today, as of when I'm recording this, he uploaded a new video uh, where he had like a serious video. He sat down and he responded to the criticism. And a lot of people didn't really like the video. Uh, some people were more supportive and were like, we don't really care. Other people kind of didn't like the video. And I can see both sides of the situation, personally that's where I'm sitting, I'm kind of in the middle, uh, kind of on the fence just being like, yeah well it's a weird situation, but at the same time like, if he just creates good content, I don't think it's gonna affect him that much. So in this video, IDubs essentially just uh, brings you up to date, talks about the situation, and essentially just says that he doesn't care. Uh, and a lot of his arguments kind of seem a bit odd. It doesn't feel, a lot of the comments are, I point this out, but it doesn't feel like the items we're used to seeing. Uh, a lot of people are commenting about Idubs' girlfriend and sort of the shady stuff that she's done in the past. Uh, I mean, it's a strange situation. Uh, definitely a strange situation. But back to the point. In IDubs' video, he talks about some of the criticism he's been getting. Uh, but as I just said, it doesn't kind of feel like the IDubs we're used to seeing. In the video, he gets some clips from the YouTuber Atosi, I think his name is. And uh, uh, he essentially just broke down sort of like the pros and cons, I think, of her starting an OnlyFans account, uh, and you know, Adams was kind of upset. He was, to be honest, he was angry at the video, uh, and he sort of went through each point and, to a certain extent, sort of straw man some of the arguments. He avoided one of the arguments, which was that he sort of loses his like pedestal uh, that he's used to being on as being this person who's always very self-aware and can essentially just fully criticize any YouTuber that he wants essentially, is what it seems, but 
when he in the, in this video he just skipped over that point. If you're b before, if you wanted to defend against yourself against a content cop, it was kind of impossible because he essentially just broke down your entire content and character on the internet and then made fun of it. And you kind of can't come back from that in, to a certain extent because he picks his battles very carefully. But now you sort of always or the people he criticizes always have the fallback of being like yeah but you're a simp and a cuck essentially uh, so he didn't even comment on that he just went over that point I don't know if he plans to do that later if he just doesn't want to acknowledge that point at all I don't know but the video was sort of weird uh, the entire video the response uh, Personally, I don't care that much if he keeps creating the content that he has always created, then I don't really care. Uh, especially like the more high production videos. If he just keeps creating that, then I don't really care. I don't know. It's, it's taken a hit on him. A lot of people are predicting that this entire video or his entire video will backfire a lot when he breaks up with his girlfriend um, but you know I don't know I'll if that happens I might make a video on it I might update you but if you want to just be brought up to date if you just want the short person Idubs's girlfriend decided to sell her nudes and this left a lot of people pissed and now he finally responded to it and some of the stuff that he responded to was reasonable like when people get personally they feel personally attacked because idubs wasn't the person they thought he was that's where i'm kind of like okay that's that's silly and i agree with him with that and he sort of accepts and understands why a lot of people were he essentially says that the normal thing to do is just to make jokes about it and make fun of it and that's pretty much 90% of the people uh, who have responded to this and I, I think you know that's the reasonable thing to do let's just make a joke of it let's see after he sorry if this is a bit messy but he said in his video or in the end he said that he was gonna make a content cop soon um, or that at least one was in the making so we're gonna see how sort of the community reacts to this outside of his like inner fan base uh, we'll see how that goes uh, but yeah my opinion on the entire situation I think it's weird I would definitely not want to be in Idubs' shoes right now uh, but we'll see how it goes I think the main thing is gonna be to see how the community reacts because if the community is like has the attitude of not really caring I think it'll be fine but if they really care and they sort of never let him off the hook on this one, then I don't know how his content is gonna be, is gonna continue going. I mean, there's no one that really compares to his content. There's no one that's really gonna uh, replace IDUB. So in that sense, I think as long as there's a need for, or people want this sort of content, no one's really gonna take his place. But at the same time, I don't know if it's going to have the same feel to it anymore. We're just going to have to see. Uh, that's essentially it. That's my opinion on the entire situation. As you can tell, I'm kind of in defense. I'm not completely made up my mind on how the entire thing is. But we'll see how it goes. I might keep you guys updated. Or if you, you should probably just pay attention to it by yourself. If I have anything to actually say about it, then I'll make a video. If not... You know, I might not make a video about it. But thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Clem and peace out.